Artists, we have so much doubt. You know, having an establishment such as RPAC offering their support makes me want to take control of my story. That's super important. Using your voice regardless of where you're at and trusting that that will touch people that it's meant to touch. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, matter of fact. So my name is Sachem and I make music and perform. <laughs> I think that this project, The Bigger Picture, is a great example of what is possible when you bring highly established places such as RPAC, grassroots talent and community together the theatre elements, the music itself, the graphics, the like street culture on a stage. It doesn't happen like that that often. Places like performing arts centres don't typically have hip-hop artists come in and do a big show like this. Working with this crew on The Bigger Picture has been one of the most rewarding creative experiences to be able to be on the ground with the team and really supporting artists through that development process has been something that we should be really proud of as a centre. I had a really great nurturing relationship with Redlands Performing Arts Centre and the people involved here. They walked me through these steps and made sure that I was aware of exactly what was happening. Our pack have also, you know, provided space for me to be able to come and develop my artistry, my craft, my career. When there's artists coming and going and making and experimenting in new works, then there's a real sense of belonging and heart for these places. I forget that he's so young because there's this depth of like experience and wisdom that exudes from him. Really respect the way he sort of excavates his own identity, dual heritage, and that kind of resonated a lot with myself. I feel like Sachem takes a lot of inspiration from his environment and local community and it's kind of a really special thing I think to have somebody who's coming at music from that place. Not everyone's going to go out of their way to find out about marginalised identities and to be critical about the world around them. But everyone enjoys entertainment. So it's like bringing those messages into places where people like want to go. That's what music did for me and that's what I hope something like tonight brings to other people. We've had total artistic control and support from this project. So if RPAC and other venues can replicate that and have it artist first, artist driven rather than producer driven, that's going to make incredible, really relevant work. It's critically important that we help create the next generation of creative artists. And when the artists have a voice and the artists have the space to make new work and tell their stories, then we're really achieving something. No more good, no more gold, no more gold.